Hello pals and welcome to another episode of MTG Community Walking. I am your host Jay Marcus and today we're visiting a personal favorite store of mine called Armada Games located in Tampa, Florida. They are open seven days a week. On Mondays they open at 3 p.m. and generally close around midnight or later. And then from Tuesday to Saturday they open at noon and close around midnight or later. And then on Sundays they open up at noon and close generally around 10 p.m. Now let's go check out the store and begin the tour. When a pal walks into Armada Games they can notice that the store is has been split into a business side and playing area. The business side contains all of their magic product from singles and boxes to sleeves and playmats, and most importantly, beverages and snacks. Looking for a board game, their diverse selection is bound to have something for everyone. If you're unsure if a board game is right for you, check out their demo corner with over 100 board games to choose from. Enjoy playing Warhammer 40k, Star Wars X-Wing, or War Machine Hordes while well, they always have the most up-to-date product in stock and someone around to show you the ropes. Their player can accommodate over 100 players, and in the back of the store is a recording studio for podcasts and live streams. Now that we have a feel for the store, let's start the interview. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Armada Games interview portion of the video. I'm here with Michael Fortino, one of the owners of Armada Games. I want to say thank you for letting us in to your, into your store, doing this interview, letting us talk to your players, letting us do the tour and all around everything that, everything we're doing. Well, happy to have you in. Thanks. Now, I've been coming here for like seven years, mm -hmm. and I enjoy, like, this is my, my favorite store. Uh, but not everybody's been here before, so why don't you tell me a little bit about yourself and a little bit about Mar Armada. Well, I have been gaming since I was basically in middle school. Uh, Dungeons & Dragons and Warhammer 40k, and then Magic, actually about the time that Mirrodin came out. Uh, we opened the store in 2006, at which point I started playing board games. Other role-playing game systems, miniature systems like uh, War Machine, Guild Ball, looking at Malifaux, uh, basically we'll play most any game you sit down in front of me. And that, that so. and that brought you into pretty much wanting to own a store, is that the gateway? Yep. Uh, opened on October 6, 2006 and started doing some convention, or was doing some conventions before we opened the store. Did a couple more conventions afterwards, and then yeah, here we are. It's uh, been an interesting ride, and we are just been, well, getting started again. So now, when you opened, were you already? Did you guys already have the plan in mind that you were just going to open with like magic in mind? Like, what was your players like? What did you want your players' experience to be when you opened? Uh, we were well. We were stocking all the games we played, of course. You know. A lot of game stores open up that way. Is like open up with the games that the owners, that the, the new store owners are interested in. So we had Warhammer 40k, uh, Magic, role playing games, and uh, a small selection of board games. And we also had some anime toys because that's we were doing anime conventions at the time. So basically, just opened up, expanded our our convention stock, and then opened the store. All right. So, what kind of when I, I've come here several times. I have a night. I love coming here. Mark's been here the first time ever, and he he, he loves it here. What kind of like, what kind of experience do you want new players, new new customers to come when they come here? Oh, we, the the third place theory is fairly well known. It's but for those that you don't don't know, it's like your home is your first place. And I just dropped my the pen. Uh, your home is your first place. Work is the second. The third place is where you want to hang out, and that's what we try to be: is try to be that third place. We want people to come here to have fun, you know, place where everybody's friends, regardless of what systems you play or don't play or what types of games you like. Always come up here and have somebody to play a game with, hang out, just talk, whatever. Um, just to be that place to to gather. So. I know I've, you guys run every, almost any type of event you can think of in the organized play structure. You guys run the eight man, like you, can, you guys can run if you want the eight man win a boxes all the way up to like RPTQs because mm -hmm. I've been there, I played in one of yours last year, it was a great experience. Uh, what, do you, what do you guys think is your like most successful magic event or most su successful event that you guys run at the store in general? Pre-releases have to be it. Like they're such a fun atmosphere and watching the evolution from the giant regional pre-releases 
down to the store level and then refining the store level pre-releases from like the hundred person seven round Swiss cut to top eight draft like hyper competitive style pre-releases down to the still a hundred person but four rounds and done much more happy atmosphere like people are here to have fun interact talk to people that they might only see once every couple months because they're because they those people only come to pre-releases uh, it's a much better atmosphere um, it's very good for for new players and for returning or even consistent players just to play with some new cards see some friends hang out and who knows play 21 hours straight of magic uh, not me, not anymore, but uh, I definitely understand the passion of people that when they're like, oh, new cards, new set, I'm going to play in every pre-release. I don't care if I'm winning all, yep. winning them all or losing them all, I'm playing in all of them. I want to have fun. Yep. And we do have a couple diehard, or not a couple, several diehard players who will Iron Man our entire pre-releases, play in every one of them, um, and they do it fairly consistently, and it's really entertaining when it gets to Sunday night and... They've played in 21 hours, then have a, have a nap, and then come back, and they're still loopy because they just got done playing 21 hours of Magic, and then sleep for four hours and come back and play for another 12 hours. So it's real fun. So you guys have these new returning players coming all the time. Uh, how are you guys handling like the constant influx of returning players asking and new players because they're all essentially will ask the same questions like. What is this? Mm -hmm. What is Delirium? What is this Planeswalker card? What does how does combat work anymore? What's well, the good news about that one is uh, most everybody on staff knows how to play Magic, and we do have several certified judges on staff, and we have judges who run our tournaments. So it's been really easy as far as like making sure that there's the rules questions get answered correctly. In fact, a lot of people will call up like players that are in areas that are not near here, like Idaho, um, will, <laughs> will call us and ask us rules questions. Mm. It happens. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't answer those Idaho calls. <laughs> I was like, there's got to be someone closer. Uh, someone. Something that I've learned as a story, if the phone rings it, you answer it. Yeah, yeah. So, you guys offer a lot of magic. I was here all day. I did a Chaos Draft earlier today. Yep. There's players that wanted to play Modern here earlier. There's players, there's so customers right now. There was an EDH game or two, or two, I believe, as well. So There's customers right now playing Sellers Catan, board games. Mm -hmm. I saw 40K earlier. Mm -hmm. It's like, what do, you, what do you offer the players, the customers or people that just are like, I don't play Magic. Do you guys, what do you guys offer? Well, we have uh, board game events three nights a week and our board game demo shelves are open all the time. There's over a hundred board games that are on the, those shelves which are free to use. We don't charge for table space or for use of the demos. We currently support eight miniatures games. Guild Ball, War Machine, Malifaux, Warhammer 40k, Kings of War, Star Wars X-Wing, Star Wars Armada, Star Wars Imperial Assault. I think that's all of them. I said Malifaux, right? Yes. Yes, okay. So, uh, and for each of those, we have monthly tournaments and then weekly play, like, uh, organized play, organized open play days. So instead of, like, running a tournament, it was just like, hey, everybody come in for however long you can. You'll have people play against those days. Awesome. And then we run D&D, Adventures League, two, two nights a week, uh, Pathfinder, two Sundays a month. Um, yeah, we have a we have a fairly full schedule. Um, Monday is our lightest day with two with two events on it. One being demo board games, the other one being Malifaux. And to our Saturday events, generally there's four to five events every Saturday. So now you guys, you guys done a lot to help like the mm -hmm. Tampa Bay area Magic community. You guys do Thanksgiving dinners. I know you guys go to conventions and run con and run the game room cons. Yep. You want to tell the people out there, like, I can spout the, the benefits and the greatness of those events because they're fun and they're, they're yep. great to be around, but why don't you tell us a little bit more? So, we, we take our holidays seriously um, to the point where we don't close for them. Um, but on Thanksgiving, uh, even the first year that we opened, we decided that we were going to put something together and just come up to the store, hang out, and um, tell people to bring up some food and sit down. 
we probably end up in the store by ourselves, but ended up with like 10 or 15 people that all brought food, sat down, shared, um, talked about it. Basically, it just became a thing. And every year we do our Thanksgiving dinner. Uh, we open at six o'clock. Uh, this past year, we uh, we made three turkeys, made some ham, a whole bunch of mashed potatoes, and basically the only requirement is if you come up to eat, you have to bring something to share. So we ended up with 50 or 60 people that all brought food, um, and it just runs the entire gamut of what you, like random things, but from like main dishes to side dishes. Um, we had an entire table full of pies. Like an entire eight foot white ta white table, card table, just full of pies. Um, and then we just were here for four or five hours, play some games, hang out, talk. Um, we do a Christmas party. Fourth of July, we do a barbecue where we grill out chicken or hot dogs or hamburgers or something. Um, do some fun events for those as well. Uh, Christmas Day, we, we have a Christmas party, which we're going to do better this year. Um, <laughs> and... I mean that's for the holidays that's a that's about it like we do Halloween parties and other stuff like that but the major ones are the 4th of July Thanksgiving and Christmas stuff that we do um, and then for the conventions oh boy the conventions this year um, so Tampa has two huge conventions Metrocon which is an anime convention and Tampa Bay Comic Con which is a comic book convention go figure right um, Metrocon this year is July 21st through 24th. I have to check my calendar real quick. I'm sorry. It's fine. We will be putting a, a yep. note yep. down in the video. July 21st through 24th. Uh, Tempe Comic Con is August 5th through 7th. We are going to be running a game room for both of those conventions. We will be in Ballroom A, and we will be running game running uh, magic tournaments. We'll be running board game tournaments, we'll be running demo games for miniatures games, we'll be running all kinds of different things um, for both of those weekends. We actually even have some sponsorships this year for them, and Calliope Games, Slugfest Games, and Cheap Ass Games have, sp yes, their name is Cheap Ass Games. <laughs> they, they make a lot of really good smaller -ish games, but yes, um, are, are sponsoring us for those two events. And we're going to have some demo games and some promotion stuff specifically for them. Um, also, Metrocon is on Eldritch Moon's release weekend, which is going to be real fun as we prepare for a convention and for a set release. Uh, but we are going to have some events at Metrocon Ooh. as well as in the store for the Eldritch Moon release. I do like it. I always like to go to cons. I, I've been to Tampa Bay Comic Con and I helped you guys out when one of those a couple years ago and it was fun yeah. it was a great experience seeing seeing people play and yeah. seeing the 40 plus werewolf games going yep. on it was it was crazy it was it was fun you should check it out if you're going to go to Tampa Bay Comic Con there's a lot of cool things to do there's a lot of guess, cool celebrities um, I'm looking forward to seeing the guy that uh, plays Daredevil <laughs> yep Dare, the guy who plays Daredevil Punisher from the, the new show uh, also who is it um, there's a oh uh, Darth Maul Imp, uh, Emperor, Emperor Palpatine, Palpatine uh, Daryl from Walking Dead um, yeah their their lineup this year is absurd yeah, um, yeah this is gonna be the third year that we have done a game room for them the first year was a little bit rough it's because we hadn't done conventions in a while uh, but we're going to be putting on a fantastic show for this year and it, if you're going to be there you should come by well. Well, Michael, uh, I want to thank you for taking the time doing this interview. Yeah. Uh, it was great to have hanging out doing the Chaos Draft. Uh, it was great meeting your players and having interviews with them. Uh, thank, you, thank you once again. Uh, to everyone out there watching, uh, if you like this, like if you want to hang out and you're in the Tampa Bay area for a vacation, check out Armada Games. We're going to put the address in the description, the address on the screen. Check them out. They would love that. They have plenty of work. Plenty of people here that will not just them, but cause, but other players themselves would love to have you. We like new people, and we like it when people visit. Mm, that's true. That's, that's true. Yeah. And uh, leave a comment if you want to know anything else, and you want to ask Michael directly, and uh, if he'll if he'll look at it and give you a response. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if it's something he can answer, if it's something in the works, maybe you'll keep it a little hush hush because I know they're always planning on bigger and better things, yep, constantly yeah. changing, constantly scheming, constantly scheming. 
But uh, for now, uh, thank you. Join us tomorrow when we have when you see the interview with me and a few customers. And uh, have a great day, and look forward to seeing you guys next time.